We went to the Bible, Alexander, Virginia, went to Washington. We went to George Washington's Masonic Lodge, and we took people from Brooklyn, uh, Harlem, the Bronx, down here. Many and most of them are scholars in their own right, but belong to other organizations that are studious already. Now, for uh, quite some time, we're going to be going to Harlem and telling people about the Great Seal. And then also some people hear or hear about the clock of destiny. Then there's controversy because many people have misrepresented the information. Then some people use the information for making finance for their personal selves. And then some people don't believe what we're saying or think it's just some Moorish thing. So we took them to Alexandria, Virginia to let them see for themselves Europeans wearing your feathers with Ian Bay. Europeans wearing your feathers with the name of this land on it. Morocco. Mm -hmm. Europeans wearing your feathers with the creed on it, Islam. Mm -hmm. Europeans wearing your feathers with Muslim on it, and then they come out in the world talking about they're Christians. Mm -hmm. That's what runs the planet. Mm -hmm. Your culture runs the planet. You gave it up. How that the gods of Rome that you knew nothing of, you felt their rule. That's what the game is. That's the great Masonic secret. Your secret. Mm -hmm. Well, we was using the DAR. DAR is the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, the DAR, <coughs> excuse me, is um, women. They, in order to be a member of the DAR, you must be only of European descent and a descendant of European women, but it's a special group of women. But I'm telling you that them women came from the Moorish harems of the Moors. That's why Moorish women cannot speak in their continent hall. That's why y'all can't speak in their hall. You got to know the history, your relationship here. We're disconnected from this. We keep thinking George Washington and Tom Jefferson. You don't know that you are the founders of this thing. That's why anybody governs here must wear feds. That's what masonry is. It's Islam, but it's not Islam, it's Islam and Islam. It's the science that runs the planet. In other words, there's science, and then there's ritual. Do you understand? There's culture, then there's belief. There's real, then there's illusion. Which one do you want? Book of Revelation. I saw one standing on seven candlesticks, seven golden candlesticks. And in his right hand, he had seven stars. They both represent light. Which one do you want? They both circle, seven. Which one do you want? They both light. One's symbolic, one's the real. But most people see it, read it, don't know what they're looking at. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Meaning that people are living in an illusion. The masses are living in an illusion. But those who run the earth are not what you call stuck in the matrix. They are outside the box. You know, our people can't think outside the box, that's why they stay in the box. Belief systems are designed to keep you in the box, where they don't have to guard you, keep you solid. That's the best guardian in the world, one where a person is self enslaved. That's the power of belief systems. That's why you see people who rule speak about beliefs, but they themselves never hold on to them. It's only for the followers. They deal with wealth. They're never poor. They're never big. You understand what I'm saying? And while they teach dogmatism to the believers, when they finish with you, then they go to the lodges and they deal with cosmology. And the science that runs the planet. The believers see my eye, the wings of my eye, and the 42 lessons of my eye with the moon on the head. The scientists know, well, the wings only represent spiritual development, the chakras, opening up the chakras. And the moon is the governing of the moon, which is the aunt, the holy cross. And they deal with the science of the hermetic law. They ain't spooked up. They need to spook up for you. They think because you do some Afrocentric thing, you go to Kente Hall for you. And 
pay taxes to them. And they're farmers. Don't tell me the Hold tell me We're arrogant. Arrogant and don't even know what's going on. And in secret, the Muslims, the Christians, and the Jews going to lodge together. Yep. With that conference in the square. Yep.